Hey guys, Jeff Moffat here from Iron Horse Cinema. We've had so many requests on how to make a foxy mask, we couldn't let you down. So here it is, how to make your very own foxy head. Here's a list of some of the things you'll need. Black marker, pencil, scissors, utility knife, paint stirring sticks, red pipe cleaners, duct tape, latex gloves, paint and paint brushes, large flower pot, felt colors that you may want to use, car sponges, white foam board from the dollar store, contact cement, foam noodle only if you cannot find car sponges, and three feet of garden hose. To get started we need to trim off a few inches from the flower pot. Carefully score along the edge with a utility knife. Carefully cut one sponge in half. Use a marker to trace the sponge to the shape of the flower pot. Use a utility knife or scissors to cut along the line on the sponge. Use some of the scrap pieces of the sponge to fill in areas to shape Foxy's head. Trim out the middle of the sponge to create a crease in Foxy's head. Duct tape the sponge parts to the flower pot. Don't be afraid to pull firmly on the tape to shape the sponge the way you want. We needed to add more sponge to shape the front of Foxy's head. To make Foxy's whiskers, trace the shape on the foam board. Carefully cut out the whiskers using a utility knife. Trace the whiskers onto the other half of the sponge that you cut in half earlier. Duct tape the sponge to the whiskers. Cut one quarter of another sponge off. Use the three quarter piece left over to create Foxy's upper jaw. Duct tape the three quarter piece to the whiskers. Be sure to use a lot of duct tape and be sure to cover all the sponge foam with duct tape. To give Foxy's snout more shape, we added more sponge to the back of each side. Then we trimmed off a little bit on each side of the front of the snout. Be sure to re-duct tape over the exposed foam sponge. Center the whiskers and upper jaw on the flower pot. Mark the flower pot when you are satisfied with the location. In our case, we had about one inch above the flower pot at the bottom. Trace the eye holes just above where the whiskers and jaw will be fastened. Carefully score and cut out the eye holes with the utility knife. Tape the whiskers and upper jaw to the flower pot. Make sure you use a lot of duct tape on the top through the eye holes end on the bottom to ensure that it's fastened solid. Shape the rubber hose to make Foxy's lower jaw. Place the hose onto the foam board and trace the hose in the shape you decide on. Carefully cut the foam board. Mark the flower pot where the lower jaw will enter the head. Cut out the plastic for the jaw to fit into it. Tape the hose to the foam board. Mark the lower jaw to create a lip for you to fasten it to the head. Score the bottom of the jaw. Do not Cut all the way through the foam board. Bend the foam board up to create a lip to tape to the lower jaw to the head. Cut the foam board to make Foxy's ears. Tape the paint stirrers to the foam board. Cut two slits into the flower pot to support the ears. Cut the foam board to make the outer part of Foxy's ears. Duct tape it to the inner ear. Apply contact cement to all areas of the head. Apply contact cement to the ears. Apply contact cement to the felt or fabric you choose to use. Please make sure that all contact cement is completely dry on both sides of the head and fabric. Place the felt onto the head. Pull and press the felt to reduce wrinkles. Cut the felt in a manner to conceal the seams if possible. Pull the felt tight and into the flower pot. Use the same technique to apply the felt to the ears, upper jaw, as well as any other parts to the foxy head. To mount the lower jaw, use two inch and a quarter bolts with washers and nuts. Drill through the flower pot on both sides. Drill through the garden hose on both sides to mount the lower jaw. Insert the bolts and put the washers and nuts on. Cover the nut with felt. 
To make Foxy's teeth, we cut triangles out of the foam board and use toothpicks and glue to mount them. We use the half of a plastic jelly bean to make Foxy's nose. Wrap three pipe cleaners together to create the hair on the top of Foxy's head. Drill a hole in the top and glue the hair in place. Now you can draw the freckles on Foxy's face with a black marker. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Now you know how to make your very own Foxy head. If you want to see more great videos like this, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And if you really want to help, click on the donate button. You can also check us out at Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and www.ironhorsecinema.com.